name is Benton Johnson. I'm an engineer with Skidmore Owings and Merrill, and we're here to talk today about our timber tower. If you think about tall buildings, they, they consume a lot of resources. They always have. And part of SOM's DNA has always been in optimization and reducing the amount of materials uh, used in, in construction. And that's led SOM to develop systems like uh, the frame tube, truss tube, bundled tube, and buttress core, and so on and so forth. We've done a lot of research over the years, and we continue to do research on structural optimization to use less and less. And initially, and always, that's a, that's a cost issue, but more and more today it's a sustainability issue. And what we find is that although we can continue to optimize and use less and less materials with traditional steel and concrete, it only gets us so far. When it comes to this research and, and where it's going and how it can help architects, it's important to kind of split things into two categories. One is sort of inspiration and the other is, is practice. And, and using this type of research, what it allows you to do is, is stretch your thinking and develop new systems. You know, if you think about we as a people, we decided to go to the moon and all the technologies that that generated uh, out of that effort. And a lot of that was inspiration. We chose to go there. And in terms of technologies that are sustainable, when we use this sort of, this sort of technology, we don't have to unlock everything to achieve a building of this height. As soon as we start to figure out how to do individual things like floors and columns connections, we can get those things tested and then start using it on lower rise buildings. It's important to start building that case and that precedent so something like this is possible in the future. In terms of building codes, it's kind of important to understand where this country is compared to other countries. Um, our, our building codes right now are mostly prescriptive, meaning you must do this, 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 and then you can build your building. Where a lot of other building codes are, are performative. They allow you to use the technology and the engineering out there to show that you're equivalent of what the intent of the code is. The intent of the code is not that um, you know, your building satisfy all these requirements, that you keep the occupants safe. So we understand that there's avenues in that code in the United States through the performance-based design that we can move forward to make things happen in, in, in the future um, of this height. But in terms of, of current day uh, technology, generally we're limited to something of this height um, in, in terms of timber structures through the prescriptive uh, code. So we can achieve that now and build those precedents and then use performance-based design to keep going taller. I think architects should focus on using wood for these kinds of structures because we do see it as a way of the future. Energy and resources are just going to become more and more important going forward and mass timber technology has nowhere to go but up. So as an architect, if you want to get involved with that and you want to get in on the ground floor, now's the time. Now's the time to get involved and push.